Let me just explain to you a little bit about the Sadducees. We know a lot about the Pharisees. They uh, uh, confront Jesus a lot. The Sadducees were also another group of Jewish leaders. They were smaller than the Pharisees, but they had more power. Uh, The Sadducees oversaw a lot of the workings, basically the financial dealings of the temple, which meant that they then in turn gained a lot from it. So they gained a lot of, of holding and lording the law over the people. That's what their, when it came to their practicing their faith, their belief was solely in the Torah. That means Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, only the books of Moses. Everything else they just say is, is, is extra biblical and it is not God's word. Also, the only thing they cared about in the Mosaic law were the actual laws themselves. Everything else didn't really matter to them. They only desired to, to try to live out the law. That's the only thing they said that God wants us to live out. So everything else kind of really didn't matter. They were known to walk with their kind of their noses in the air. They were better than everybody else. They were uh, made up a, a large part of the Sanhedrin, that is the, the Jewish supreme court. Even their title, Sadducee, means the correct ones. Like, so they, they, they wore that as kind of a badge of honor. Well, you know that we're right. You know some people like that? Like, well, you can think whatever you want of me, but, but my identity is I'm right all the time, and I'm the only one that knows what's right. So they were conservative in their religious activity, but they were incredibly liberal in their love of money and control and power and compromise when it came to their relationships with, uh, with the government, with Rome, whatever benefited them. So viewed by the Pharisees who, were, who really said, we, we need to live holy lives, uh, the Sadducees really didn't care. And so they rose up uh, against each other. They rejected all of the oral law. In other words, uh, any rabbinic interpretation of what Moses meant or God meant through the law. Uh, and, uh, and, and they took it, everything just literally as well, which obviously they should, but they rejected them because we only follow these five books. They rejected any teachings at all on the afterlife, on resurrection, on angels, uh, spirits, anything like that. Well, that clashed uh, with the Pharisees because uh, in the entirety of Scripture, it is full of of even in the Torah, talks about right away in Genesis, talks about an angel of the Lord. But as Paul tells us in Acts 23, verse 8, they rejected teachings on resurrection, angels, and spirits. Unlike the the Pharisees as well, who held the law over people, Sadducees basically just kind of, almost like they felt like really there's there's no rules outside of whatever the, the laws are that God gives, and it's up to you to interpret what they are. They believed God wasn't really active in daily life, and then, and then when life was over, it was just over. There, there really isn't much for us. Uh, our soul and our spirit are connected. Our body and spirit are connected, so when the body dies, so does the spirit. End of story. Really great belief to have if you want to avoid having to face the reality of the truth of judgment. 